tip-off as Texas controls the first possession of the game. Texas with the win over Kansas yesterday, 76 to 60. Kansas State got the victory over West Virginia, and Jones able to score on the first play. Serena Sandell, we talked about the point guard, Briley and Jalen Glenn, the twins. Gabby Gregory in her final year, and Aoka Lee just named to the wooden list top 15 today as she gets the first basket for the Wildcats as we look at the Longhorns. Shea Holly and Gonzalez have had some tough game shooting this year. We'll see how today goes against the different looks from Kansas State. Holly misses that. Shea Holly played 40 minutes in the first matchup between these two, also in the second. No points in either game. Pretty shocking. It's very shocking because Shea Holly is a baller, and she showed that the other day in their game against Kansas. Jalen Glenn off the mark there, but Jeff Mitty wants her to be aggressive today. He said we're a better team when Jalen Glenn is aggressive. Excuse me, that was that was Briley Glenn. So both of them putting the ball on the, the floor and attacking. It. That's right. The Glenn, tw the Glenn twins. Madison Booker. And that is who is going to be a problem. They've made the last two Big 12 championship finals last year. They lost to Iowa State the year before they won. Both times they had the services of Rory Harmon. And, of course, it's well documented. She went down with the knee injury right before Big 12 play this year. But she has become coach Rory Harmon on the sideline. But he talked about the respect that the players have for her and, and her just being that, that voice of calm for them in moments when they need it. Nick Schaefer said to her, I haven't heard your voice lately. And she said, well, we've been playing pretty well. <laughs> no need for me to say much, Coach. Exactly. Aliyah Moore, boy, she had a good game yesterday. Gets her own offensive rebound and puts it back in. <laughs> She had 19 points and 11 rebounds in the win against Kansas. Jeff Mitty and his squad off to a great start early this year. They climbed to as high as number two in the country. But then Aoka Lee had to have surgery and was out for seven games. It kind of disrupted things a little bit for Kansas State. And she misses that attempt at the rim. But definitely an adjustment. The post state just being in a position where, you know, sometimes you have to just play without your best player. And they found themselves in a situation where other players had to step up. Gonzalez off the mark on the three. They go back into Gonzalez, or excuse me, into Lee. Nice backdoor cut from Serena Sundell. Beautiful pass from Gabby Gregory. And, and Gabby Gregory had herself a game the other day, came up big in clutch moments. She's one of those players that if, if K-State can get her going, we know what Aoka Lee's going to do. Walker into the game, the redshirt freshman, bringing the ball up the court against Madison Booker. Sundell zip passes it inside. It, it, it's reminiscent of what we just saw with Crooks, right? When a hooker league gets that deep position and you're just going to play behind her, night, night. <laughs> exactly. Gonzalez using the screen. Got that one just inside the three-point line. Great sign for Texas. Walker in between a couple of defenders, and she commits the offensive foul. Texas off to a 10-6 lead here in our second semifinal. The winner of this game will advance to face off against Iowa State, who dispensed of the regular season champion Oklahoma, and Gonzalez knocks down a three, so a couple of buckets from Shaley. Going into postseason play, you want to be clicking on all cylinders, having every single player on this squad stepping their game up, and Shaley Gonzalez has come to play today. Texas moved up to number five in the AP poll today. Kansas State stayed steady at 16. Austin with a nice block and then chased it down in the corner. Her foot kind of slid out from under her. I mean, Sundell doing a nice job of attacking, but Gaston said, oh, not today. Great 
hustle, great rotation, great help side. The lead posting up on Gaston. Turns, rolls it in. Ride her up the lane so that she can't get that deep position. Because there's just not much you can do when she catches it that low. Gaston trying to tip it in. Here comes the Wildcats. from Booker, being defended by Jalen Glenn, too strong, and Lee rebounds it, but Booker just rips it away from Aoka Lee. What's it back? She said, I want that back. That's nice. Lee posting up again, and again scores. Now she's got eight. Ooh. Ooh. She already, I see you, she, yeah, she already picked up a, a foul on Jones, so Deanna Gaston comes in, puts a, a forearm in her back, can't do anything to stop her. There's Shea Holly, her first basket of the year against Kansas State. Gabby Gregory, we talked about what a great game she had yesterday. Sanchez misses, Lee makes it in. The refs are letting them play right now. Gonzalez with a little hezzy. Gaston, nice little hook. But when these two met in Austin, Aoka Lee did not play. That's when she was recovering from her ankle surgery as Sanchez travels and turns it over. So Texas hasn't beaten Kansas State with Aoka Lee in the lineup this year. So Madison Booker not on the court. Aaliyah Moore... And Gabby Gregory, that's that's a fun match. You can see Moore's numbers over the last three games. That's the first foul on Gabby Gregory as Moore makes the first free throw. Well, we're here at the T-Mobile Center where the Phillips 66 Men's Big 12 Championship will be starting tomorrow afternoon with the second round Wednesday and the quarterfinals on Thursday. In the past, the women's and men's Big 12 have been... Going on at the same time, the women over at Municipal Auditorium down the street, the men here at T-Mobile, but this year they moved the women's tournament up, and the only overlapping day will be tomorrow with the first round of the men's and the championship game for the women's tomorrow night. But rightfully so, the women should absolutely be playing here. Sanchez skying between a couple of Texas players, and it gets away. Texas shooting 47% from the field. Dick Schaefer's team's always known for their defense, but they have been pretty good offensively this year, shooting over 50% on the year. Aaliyah Moore gets it to go and one. You just see the great strength from Aaliyah Moore, who missed games at the beginning of this year, still recovering from that knee injury from last year. A seven to nothing run for the Longhorns. Bumps into Sundell. Lee grabs it. No. And Texas with a 10 point lead at the end of the first quarter. But one thing that tells you is they're, they're definitely not afraid of the moment and that they're either never out of the game or they're going to continue to play hard until they can make something happen. And right now, down by 10, K-State is the type of team that can get back in it quickly. Well, they're down by 10 as we start the second quarter here at the T-Mobile Center. It's the semifinals of the Big 12 Championship, and that one's stripped away from Serena Sundell. Yeah, and when you look at K-State, it's, it's Lee and Moppin. So Texas absolutely has the advantage when you start talking about the bigs that they can constantly bring in the game. Shea Holly at the free throw line, the six-foot senior out of Austin, Texas. Graduated from the UT Business School in three years. Vic Schaefer calls her the glue. Without Rory in the lineup, she has stepped up in a big way to really keep this team together. And she, she had some big shots for Texas the other day. 
How about that catch in traffic? And managed to hold on to it and drop out. Lee misses her first free throw attempt. The all Big 12 first teamer has received that honor all four years. I think the case could have been made for her to get Big 12 player of the year this year, but she missed about seven games of injury. I think that had to have had an impact on it. Instead, it was Madison Booker and Skylar Van who shared co Big 12 player of the year. Gaston over Lee. And look at that rebound by Moon and Tonda. And Tonda just went and grabbed that one. Lee going to work on Gaston. Boy, a lot of contact there. And it was touched by Texas, so sides chased it into the backcourt. There's Lee. There's the double team, and she still is able to score. Wow. And Aoka Lee doing what Lee does, posting up strong. I have no idea how she got that shot off, but it went in and she's going to the free throw line. I mean, she wasn't even looking at the basket. And she turned and just, she knows where the basket is, right? She's, she's made enough baskets in her career. Yes. She turns and completes a three-point play to draw Kansas State within 10. Well, Kansas State now in a 2-3 zone. Gonzalez, got it. Second three-pointer of the game for Gonzalez on a nice inside out. There's no better time to get hot than the present moment that there he is. Walker high off the backboard. She only had two points against West Virginia in the quarterfinals, and that's her first basket of the game here. That was a great take by Walker. More nice face up. So even in the 2 3 zone, because Moore could step out to the short corner, and whoever is defending the middle in this case is Lee, she has to come out and guard her. And Gabby Gregory, because offensively you may have an off night, but this team today, today, they've come out shooting the ball really well. Shaley Gonzalez has been a big part of that. Uh, she has eight points. Minnetonda, how about that? Only two three-pointers all year long for Minnetonda, and she drains a three. And, and Coach Schaefer had a big smile on his face after she drained that one. Uh, I think that might have been one of those. No, no, no. Oh, good shot. <laughs> right? <laughs> Biggest lead of the game for the Longhorns. Lee still... A machine inside. We're going to let Lee get hers because we know she's going to get hers. We don't want other players to have an impact and make a difference in this game. Five on the shot clock. Gaston rises up over Gregory. The Texas is post players right now. They are just dominating the pain on the offensive end. Kansas State is four of their last five. The problem is that Texas is five of their last six, but Aoka Lee scoring again in so long. Six two sophomore. Well, that one gets away from Gonzalez. Walker dives on the floor. Shot clock's going to run out. That's going to be a shot clock violation on Texas. So Jones is back into the lineup. Taylor Jones for Texas. She picked up a quick foul early against Aoka Lee. Lee catches there one-on-one. -on -one, decides to kick out. Nice backdoor cut by Glenn. Who scored? Gregory, the defense, I love it. Pop goes real harder. <laughs> Lee tries to get it to Gabby Gregory. The shot clock is winding down. Good pressure on the ball from Jones. Jalen Glenn got it to fall, and it's a single-digit game. Texas led by as many as 14 when they were up 
to 24, so it's a six to nothing run for the Wildcats. Gonzalez attacks. No, Lee with the rebound. They've got time. Two seconds, and Jones blocks the Sundell heave. All of that in the first half, mostly without Madison Booker, who picked up her second foul just seven minutes into the game. So they they extended their lead to 14 points. Kansas State cut it to eight, but now Madison Booker is back on the court for the Longhorns. And K-State starting the third quarter out in their 2-3 zone. An empty possession for the Longhorns. A trip to the Big 12 Championship Final tomorrow night is on the line. If Texas wins, it would be a rematch of last year's championship final that Iowa State won. If Kansas State would win, it'd be their first trip to the final since 2005. Kansas State 0 for 5 from three-point range and a foul off the ball by Jalen Glenn committed. That's her first foul. Jay Holly from the short corner. Jay Holly has a really nice jumper. And a strong drive from Riley. Jay Holly with a backdoor cut and it's stolen away by Sundell. Sundell. That's the second foul for Jones. And that one gets away from Glenn, and then she saves it back to Aaliyah Moore, who's out in front of everybody for an easy layup. Yeah, you probably should have just, I know it's a turnover, but you probably should have just let that go. At least you can get your defense back. And Aaliyah Moore now in double figures, the first player for Texas. With 11. Nice move with a left hand. And Moore's only made three three-pointers all year long, but she was thinking pretty good about things there. She was like, I'll, I'll take it. Aoka Lee has now moved up to third most points in Kansas history in their, excuse me, Kansas State history. They had their, um, she surpassed Kendra Wecker on the rebound chart the other day as Gabby Gregory hits the first three-pointer of the game for K-State. And all of a sudden, Cheryl, we got a five-point ball game. And that's exactly what Gabby Gregory did the other night. She stepped up and made some big buckets to get K-State back in the game. Booker, so easy. Lee catches it over Gaston. And Moore rips it away. Ooh. Booker. Wow. That is not an easy shot. Stop it, Madison Booker. You know, she makes it look easy, but that was a tough shot because that was actually pretty good defense. Gabby Gregory just hit a three a moment ago, got another. And she immediately points to Lee saying, I got you, big girl. Madison Booker just going to work. My goodness, we got a good one, though. Another thing that makes her so tough to defend is, besides the fact that she's really, really, really good with a T and, and, and her size, is that she doesn't get sped up. Mm -hmm. She plays at her own pace, and when she's ready to shoot it, she is just going to jump over you. Walker banks it in. Too strong off the backboard, but it gets away from Glenn. Oh, and Aaliyah Moore comes up hobbling. Something happened that right away she grabbed her leg. She's had a, a terrific Big 12 season and just continues to get better. So 
Hopefully that is just a temporary setback for her. Yeah, because she's having an incredible game. 11 points, 7 boards, playing hard, playing, get, making things happen on both ends of the basketball. Texas has led this entire game. Kansas State got back within five earlier this quarter. And the shot clock is winding down. Sundell blocked by Gaston, gets the rebound and puts it back in. They want to stay with it. You know, lots of times when a player gets their shot blocked, they immediately take off going to the other end of the floor. Sundell did a nice job of just sticking with it. And she didn't have much time on the shot clock, so the really awareness to just catch it and put it back up. Ten on the shot clock. Texas taking their time on this possession. Four seconds. Booker going to try to use the screen. Rises up over Gabby Gregory and Gaston with the rebound. And then a foul called. But Booker understanding shot clock running down, but Gaston, she just went up and grabbed it. Oh, no, I thought that was a jump ball before the foul. And called upon to defend Aoka Lee with Taylor Jones picking up fouls early in each of the first and third quarters. Gaston connects, and Texas hasn't missed a free throw in the game today. on the bench, so Maupin is in the game for K-State. Jalen Glenn commits an offensive foul. Madison Booker, pretty good defender. Ooh, she got a nice look. Going to the midsection. <laughs> I think I read looks pretty good, so I'm not going <laughs> to say what I think he said. <laughs> nice. Shot clock is off, under 10 here in the third. The double team, Booker gets rid of it. Gonzalez short, Gaston comes flying in again. Sundell has time, half court, Jonathan goes! No, just short for Serena Sundell. Never quit fighting, and we got a good ball game. We start the fourth quarter here in Kansas City at the T-Mobile Center. Missed on a backdoor opportunity there. The Walker and Glenn were not on the same page, and Texas was able to turn them over. Not a great start to the fourth quarter. And then an offensive foul. Lee has position on Gaston. She was held to just two points in the third quarter after 18 in the first half. Lee, no. Walker keeps it alive. In traffic, draws the foul. So Walker with four points. This will be her first trip to the free throw line, an 82% free throw shooter on the year. It's Sports Center at 6 Eastern, followed by Bracketology at 7, with breakdowns of each region. Then at 8 Eastern, the women's field at 68 will be revealed. And everybody realizing you have to think right now what's on the line as Moore can't finish it. Both these teams want to make it to the Big 12 Championship Final on Tuesday night. Over the top. So Lee takes her time, kicks it out to Sundell. In and out. And then it gets away from Booker. That was a tough break. Ooh, that would have been a big bucket by Sundell. And Kansas State forces another turnover. Sundell, two on two. Leaning in, got it. It's a four-point ball game. This is the closest Kansas State has been. The nerves are in full effect right now, right? 
as you look up at the clock, I mean, it's six minutes, a lot of basketball left to play. But understanding what these players are playing for, you can understand why loose balls falling on the floor. You can understand the nerves right now. No foul called. Gaston goes up high. Lee can't defend, and Gaston finishes. That was a tough catch finished by Gaston. Eight points by Gaston. Now, Aoka Lee scored 18 points in the first half. She's only got two here in the second half. She gets the ball, clears a path, scores it, and one opportunity. Going through contact, headed to the free throw line. And Lee completes the three-point play, and it's a three-point ball game. This is the closest that Kansas State has been here in the second half. Booker misses, and Kansas State can draw within one or possibly tie it on this possession. Well, that, was a, that was a tough shot by Booker. Texas has had the lead the entire game today. They led by as many as 14. And now Serena Sundell will go to the free throw line to draw within one. And Gaston, who did so good not fouling throughout the game, now has four fouls, all of them in the second half. As Taylor Jones checks in for Gaston. Gaston has been so active on both ends of the court for Texas. Sundell finishes the first. The Big 12 now on ESPN, along with most of the games from both conference championships. If you're a Big 12 fan, you got to have it sign up today. And Serena Sundell with both free throws makes this a one-point ball game. Riley Glenn is pressuring Booker all over the field. Aaliyah Moore scores on that one to give a three-point cushion to Texas. These two teams split this year. Kansas State won a close one in Manhattan without Aoka Lee in the lineup. Texas won in Austin. And Aoka Lee just muscled up inside. And she was looking for the foul. Rightfully so. That was a lot of contact on that shot. 59th career double-double for Lee. Madison Booker. No. has done a really nice job on Madison Booker this fourth quarter. Booker had that stretch where she made six in a row here in the second half. She's only had a free throw since then. Sundell, look at all by herself. And Booker, who ties it up, and then a collision. Yoka Lee, and it gives Texas another possession. So the foul is on Lee after the shot? That is correct. That is correct. Shea Holly misses that, so Texas can't capitalize. Sundell. for a while like Texas was going to dominate this game. They had a 14-point lead in the second quarter, and now a foul on Texas. Booker, that's her fourth foul, Cheryl. And she looks over at Vic Schaefer and says, that's my fourth, so with 3.06 remaining... Well, Booker's going to stay on the court, it looks like. Gaston is coming in to replace Aaliyah Moore. So Gaston and Madison Booker each have four fouls. 
second round with three minutes left in the game. This is the time where Madison Booker has to grow up. I know she's just a freshman, but it's important for her to be on the floor for her team right now. And the difference is when you look at K-State, the reason why they didn't panic when Texas had the big lead is the experience that this K-State team has. Sundell makes both free throws. Kansas State up by two again. Crashing the glass, trying to give her team another opportunity. Gabby Gregory looking for Lee. Jalen Glenn, four on the shot clock, short on that attempt, long rebound. Two minutes to play, a trip to the championship final on Tuesday night to meet Iowa State. Texas is finding a way to get it done. And Deanna Gaston, a big part of that, just crashing the boards, going to get it, putting it back. And Shaylee Gonzalez putting the ball on the deck, getting all the way to the hole. And Shaylee Gonzalez, who had a great start to this game, now is in double figures. This is her first trip to the free throw line, and she misses. Gaston tries to keep it alive, but doesn't. It's a great box out by Gabby Gregory. Texas leading by two. Kansas State, six and three in games determined by three points or less this year. And they tie it up again. Riley Gonzalez, I see you. Riley Glenn, excuse me, I see you. Two into the game. I'll two into the game. Big bucket. Sundell tries to get inside the defense, and no call. And Texas has the basketball. Kansas State has fouls to give with only two team fouls. Yeah, but Coach Shaker's like, just be patient. We're not going to get in a rush. Got a three-point lead. And... That foul at nine seconds on the shot clock resets to 20 seconds. Briley Glenn's second foul. What do you do here, Cheryl? I, I, I was trying to read. Oh, oh wow, over the top to Shane Holly. She said, we don't care if you're going to foul or not. We're going to go score. It was like, you don't give up a layup. The stretch for Texas. Five players in double figures for Texas. After Kansas State had regained the lead, and then a turnover. Sundell, hesitant, drags her pivot foot. And they do. Sundell picks it up. That's the fourth team foul. Come up big. More catches. short on this one. So even if she makes the second, it'll still be a two possession game. And she connects on the second. Kansas State chooses not to call the timeout. They push it up the court. Win. Gets the screen from Lee, and that's the fifth foul on Gaston. Yeah, she needed just, to let that one go. Yeah. And, so, and you're already in foul trouble. So 10 points for Gaston, 8 rebounds, a couple of assists, a terrific job.
He scored a few lately, but just seven points in the second half after an 18 point first half. Yeah, somebody's going to go deep as Aaliyah Moore goes to trigger. 19.8 remaining. She's looking, she's looking, and calls a Ooh. timeout. Does she get the timeout in time? Yes, she calls the timeout. 19.8 remaining. And they inbound it. Walker loses her shoe, and somebody needs to foul Booker. Madison Booker, an 88% free throw shooter on the year. She's only been to the line once today, made that. on the second. Sundell. Slow developing play. Sundell just going to go all the way to the rim and she is fouled by Jones with the body. Nine seconds. He could. Could not take the rebound. Kick but it out for a three. She makes it. Texas doesn't use their timeout and Sundell fouls Taylor Jones. Jones gets that one to roll in. Sundell drives the length of the court, misses, and that's going to do it. We've got a rematch of last year's Big 12 Championship.